Great Spartan! What's up guys? Crazed here with another quick video here for you and this is of course Halo CE Master Chief Collection and having a good time here with my friend Apocalypse Man, if you haven't gone and checked out his channel, please go ahead and do so. His Mixer channel, that is. Uh, incredibly good streamer and incredibly good player. And unfortunately for him, he has to put up with me from time to time. I feel bad for him, but, you know, you know, he, you know, know, he, he's got to carry me. he got to put me in the old backpack and take me across that finish line one way or the other. But anyways, that's beside the point today. That's not the subject of discussion. Uh, today is, I'm going to talk about a tweet that Jess A. Birdie put out recently, and she said basically this, and I'll show you the tweet here, but what she said is, hey, uh, I'm just going to finish off with work, and then going to go snuggle up with some feedback videos, and I respond, of course, feedback on anything in particular, and I didn't really get a response, so you know what? I'm making a feedback video for her, and hopefully she'll take it and enjoy it and share my thoughts uh, with uh, 343. Who knows? And by all means, guys, I highly suggest, highly suggest, take your time, go over to the Halo Waypoint, sign up for the feedback program, especially when Halo 6 comes out. They're going to be looking for feedback so you can share your thoughts on what Halo 6 is going to be. So make sure you do that. All right, on to my feedback for Halo 5. And of course, I'm possibly a little bit into the Halo 6. I'm not sure about that yet. I'll probably do a separate video on that. But where to start? Where to start with Halo 5? I'm going to start with the weapons tuning, I think. I think that's a good spot. Since I think the weapons tuning is silly. It's silly. Why are we doing weapons tuning two, two years into the game and now almost two and a half years into Halo 5? We're going to do a weapons tuning update. Are we silly? Why are we doing this? I thought the weapons were okay. I didn't think there was any major problems. Uh, maybe you guys feel different. But I didn't think there was any major problems with the weapon sandbox as it was before they started all the tuning updates. Uh, they wanted to define roles and stuff, but at that point, it just seems silly to be doing that. I don't understand. Um, on a second note of that, the weapons tuning update, I, I don't understand why nobody's looking into Spartan Charge. Spartan Charge is like the biggest uh, frustrating thing in Halo 5. I hate it. I think it's kind of silly. Uh, it is kind of neat to pull off when you do it, but... It's so frustrating to be in the middle of a battle and then just get Spartan Charge in the back. And of all the things, that's like the only thing that I truly find to be a frustrating experience in Halo 5. Other than the, like the sweatiness of all the playlists, but I'll talk about that in a little bit. But please, adjust Spartan Charge. Nerf it at some point. Uh, and if you are going to update things like um, power-ups... A speed boost. A little suggestion on speed boost. Take the speed boost, and when you get it, add like a little bit of aim assist to it. Because when I get speed boost, I can't hardly aim because I'm moving way faster than normal. Um, uh, just you know, it make it a little bit more viable. Be kind of a little cooler. You know, you pick up speed boost, and your aim is just a little bit better because <laughs> you know you have faster reaction time. You're you're a Spartan. You know, uh, I think that'd be a pretty cool idea. Um, I don't know. Something to think about. Uh, but that's that. Now on to the playlist. I think that's the biggest thing for me is the playlist. Rotational playlists need to go away. Just They just need to go. I, I don't like them. Uh, I mean, I like some of the ones that come up. I think a lot of them could be their, either their own playlist, such as like multi-team. That should, that should just be there. Multi-team should be there. Uh, I don't know why it's not. I love multi-team. I love playing it. However, it's just never there. Um, I don't know. I don't understand that either. Uh, things like shoddy snipers. That should be in snipers playlist. Why is that not in playlist? In that playlist. It should be there. Uh, even the, the legendary Oath, Sworn and um, Norfang uh, shoddy snipers. 
uh, I think they call it legendary snipers or something like that. I don't know. But uh, something like that. Put that in the action sack. I mean, seriously. I mean, I think that'd be a perfect spot for it. Um, I don't know. It, it's just so frustrating where these things, we have to wait for certain playlists to come up in order to play something that we actually really enjoy playing. I Just put it in the playlist where it would be most likely uh, should be. Now that is the rotational playlist. I think, again, they should go away with the exception of like holiday playlists. Like specific playlists for like holidays. Uh, I think I remember back in the day, remember um, Halo 4? They had Turkey Bowl. Remember that? Man, that was incredibly fun, but it only showed up for um, uh, for Thanksgiving. For like two weeks at uh, Thanksgiving time. That was awesome. I love that. Uh, let's see, what is this? Some of the other ones. I think they introduced Sticky Ball in its own playlist, which was inc another incredible game type. But then after that, they put it in Action Sack or something like that. Uh, I thought that went well. Um, what was the other one? The Halloween one. They kind of had Smashing Pumpkins, where it's like you played Oddball and you picked it up, you turned orange, and everybody else was green, but everybody else was running around with hammers and they smashed you. I mean, it, it was it was fun. I really enjoyed that. Ah, just I, I'm just having good feels just remembering some of this stuff. Um, that's what I say about the rotational playlist. As it is right now, it needs to go away. But bringing up special playlists for holidays that'd be incredibly fun to have. Uh, there you go. <laughs> but anyways, but that's not it for playlists. Uh, just to get started. The playlists themselves are stagnant. They're kind of boring. I, I, I have a hard time playing them because it's just... They're all the same, more or less. It's like Slayer. I mean, when we play Slayer, I expect, you know, I'm playing, you know, the game type of Slayer. However, there's no variety in it. None. It's like there's no weapons, no weapon changes. You start with the pistol every time. You start with the pistol every time. Well, why can't we have a Slayer where we're Covenant Slayer? I mean, I remember that back in the day, where you started off with the um, carbine, or and all the weapons on the map were covenant maps or covenant weapons. Uh, what about BR starts, like actual BR starts, Halo 2 BR starts, which I would prefer, to be honest with you, because <laughs> I love the BR starts. I'm not a big fan of the pistol starts. I really am not. Um, so that's my thoughts there. Add variety to the playlist. And that's just the team, uh, that's just Slayer. Uh, as for like Team Arena, man, have some fun with this playlist. Uh, why, why is, I th did they even add Oddball to it yet? I think they should add Oddball. Add that to the playlist. Add um, uh, Ricochet. Ricochet was incredibly fun in Halo 4. And it's, it, it is in the game. Technically it is in the game. I mean, it's. I think the game Rift in Action Sack is a Ricochet variant. Again, why is this not in like Team Arena, man? Ricochet was so much fun. Uh, Extraction, King of the Hill. Uh, <laughs> I mean, this stuff should be there. I know, and that's my frustrating part with Halo 5. Is stuff that should be there isn't. And I just don't understand why, especially if it can be made in Forge. I, I know it's not a, as good as a developer-made game or a game type, but <laughs> the King of the Hill, I played that in Action Sack, and, and that was fun. I really enjoyed it. Why is that game type not in other game modes, such as Team, Slay or Team Arena? Why is it not there? Ah, add variety. Add variety to the playlist. Uh, SWAT, same thing, same thing for SWAT. Just add, you know, capture the flag. Uh, <laughs> add uh, oddball. Add um, king of the hill, strongholds, whatever. Add variety to these playlists. Add some variety. I mean, I love the Slayer version of SWAT. Absolutely. But why don't we have more variety? Period. We need more variety. All right. Uh, same thing. Uh, I mean, this sounds like a broken record, but uh, Team Doubles, uh, still, is nothing in it but Slayer. Nothing. Free-for-all, nothing in it but Slayer. <laughs> you 
catching on his theme here. <laughs> uh, Fiesta, or Super Fiesta. Nothing in it but Slayer. I mean, come on. I mean, that just seems so silly to me. Why are we not having more game types, more fun, more variety as we're playing these things? I mean, that to me is what I'm really having to struggle with now is it's just there's no variety. There's no variety in any of the playlists, and that is a huge problem. Halo has incredible options with, with Forge. Uh, people have created some incredible things. And it just does not feel like it is being taken advantage of at any time. And I'm really not sure why. Even some of the default stuff. Why, why are we not using this stuff? I don't understand. <laughs> I just really don't. Oh. Well, anyways. Uh, that's my playlist. That's my playlist. And again, that's just a start. That's just a start. I think... At this point in Halo 5's life cycle, I don't know if anything's going to uh, change or even help people come back and play on a regular basis. Because even I, you know, who love Halo, uh, I've played it for a long time. It is like my go-to game. I'm having a hard time, especially with Halo 5, just, just jumping in and playing. Because it's a sweat fest. Uh, hello, you're just sitting there. <laughs> It's a sweat fest from start to finish, and it's just so frustrating. So frustrating. And, hello. <laughs> this is the strategies right here for Griffball. <laughs> um, as for, like, big team battle, or I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jump into Breakout first. Breakout. Now, I personally like the current version of Breakout. However, I do know a lot of people like the beta version, where there was no capture the flag. Uh, there was no uh, power weapons on the map. It was straight up 4v4. You could just go in and you had to kill the other team. Or the time ran out and you got a tie. Uh, I think, honestly, that I would call it classic. Classic breakout. Uh, if you wanted to call it anything. But I think that would be an excellent thing to bring back into breakout. Uh, just, just a little bit of variety. Just a little bit of variety would help. <laughs> it would help a lot and I as far as I know I mean I could be wrong as far as I know making a playlist is not incredibly hard I I don't know and I could be completely wrong on that I don't know um, I just don't think it would be very difficult to set up a playlist that could add variety to a lot of these games oh but that's that <laughs> uh, kind of kind of going on a little bit of a rant and, and I apologize to you guys if I did that but by all means please go ahead and post comments down below if you agree with I've, what I've said if you don't agree if you have better ideas uh, things to do in Halo 5 to at least bring a little bit of life back into it um, something that you would enjoy I think that would be really nice to have um, I think one final note though that I wanted to talk about is the forge forge there's incredible forge maps out there just absolutely amazing and it just does not feel like they're being utilized uh, uh, very much at all um, just go ahead and and take some of those maps and throw them into the playlist i don't understand why we don't i really don't uh, such incredibly good stuff and it's just not being used so uh I know, I know. I, it was a bit of a long, long video, but I really wanted to share my thoughts on Halo 5 at this point with with uh, Jess A. Birdie and, of course, 343, if they think about it, if they share any of it. Uh, and, of course, please, again, go and check out the Halo Feedback Program so you can share your own opinions uh, with 343. Create your own videos. Uh, share it with her. Um, hey, you never know. You never know. Some of your thoughts and, and suggestions might actually come through. and You never know. And if it makes Halo 5 better, I'm all for it. And if it even makes Halo 6 better, I'm definitely all for that. I'm really hoping and I'm really hoping that uh, this E3, we're going to see some amazing things. And we're all going to be super excited about Halo again. And we're going to be all up in there and playing and 
Uh, yeah, I'm dreaming. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to wrap this up. Uh, thanks for listening to my rant. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please share, of course, and like and subscribe if you haven't already. This is Crazed. I'm out of here. Watch out for the hammer. We have the ball. We have the ball. Able victory. Comment, like, and subscribe.